What is up my dudes, this is Yardbra, and you're tuning in to another episode of My Lawn. So today, we went out to the hardware store and purchased some timers. So if you've been tuning in, you noticed I had a four-way copper splitter to water the front lawn. Now, this wasn't a hassle for me because I just set you know, the timer on my phone, when to water, the water schedule, there was a bunch of different projects going on. It wasn't just you know, overseeding and watering three times a day. It was like, okay, now it's getting established. Let's change it to 30 minutes. Uh, once a day, let's change it to every other day, you know, so there was different things that I didn't think timers could do but These timers are super advanced now and then doing some research and just going to the store and seeing what's available I decided to go with the Melnor the Melnor Hydrologic automatic water timer for outlet. I Just started messing around with it. I started playing with the settings and holy moly it's like four timers in one. There's four separate zones. That way you can, you know, split off your sprinklers, sprinkler heads. You can, you know, different times, different zones. I mean, it's amazing. Even if you're splitting, you know, using one faucet and you're splitting it multiple ways, I mean, the water pressure is gonna be there because you're gonna set it to that, you know what I mean? So these timers are super advanced. I'm super happy that I went there today. I don't know why I didn't buy this in the beginning. I mean, this would have been a huge help for me, but again, like I said, it wasn't a hassle because I loved going out there. I loved seeing the progress, but as time goes on and as I'm starting to take on the backyard project, yeah, these timers are gonna be beneficial. It's definitely an essential item that every lawn care person should have. All right, so what's in the box? So you have your timer. And then you have your instructions. There's a couple different languages. Of course, we're gonna bust out the English. Then, you're gonna need some batteries. These do not come with the required two AA batteries. So, went to Costco real quick, picked them up because they're a little bit cheaper there, and now we're plopping them in. After that, timer turns on, and it's time to set your settings. So this timer is four timers in one with four different zones. So you're gonna wanna set your zones per the hose that's gonna sprinkle wherever you want it to sprinkle at what time. And then of course for water pressure, you're not gonna set all four of them. Unless your water pressure is amazing, unlike mine, I can only run one at a time or one split at a time. The nice thing about this is I already had a four-way copper splitter. So I'm just gonna replace where the hose was on the copper splitter to this new Melnor water timer. Zone four, fence line side strips. Zone three, sidewalk strips. Zone two, main yard. Simple as that. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you're gonna set the current time and day. You're gonna pick the time, make sure you are reading AM or PM. That is very crucial especially if you're overseeding and you need you know, certain times to water. So pick the time and then pick your day. Next, you're gonna pick the water day. So for instance, on zone one, you're gonna pick what day you want to water. So if you're overseeding, obviously you wanna do it every single day. If your lawn's established, you're gonna maybe do every other day or maybe every other two days. So you will know on the water day if it's selected, if there's a square around the actual day. Once you pick the day, you're gonna start picking the start water, which is the cycles. So for instance, if you're watering three times a day, you're gonna have cycle A, B, and C. If you're just doing once a day, just cycle A. Once you establish how many cycles you want, it's then going to ask you how long. So for instance, if you're overseeding, 10 minutes three times a day. You're gonna set cycle A for let's say six in the morning, cycle B, 12 in the afternoon, cycle C in the evening. So you can set how long, 10 minutes each time. If you're watering once a day, 30 minutes at a time, boom, now you can set it from here. Now, say you wanna set another zone, like say zone two. You're gonna hit the top button until you go to water day, and then you're gonna hit the bottom left button to pick which zone you want to do. Now, obviously you're gonna need to know 
how you're gonna set this up with your hose, what the water pressure is gonna be like, but this is how you set your different zones. This can be a little overwhelming at first, but once you start messing around with the settings, once you hook it up to the hose, you start fidgeting around and timing it and it turns on, you get all excited because it worked, then you start getting used to it. Everything becomes a little bit easier. So take your time with this. This isn't like, let's put it on, set the timer for 15 minutes and you're good to go. You know, this is fully automated so you don't even have to go outside there anymore. You know, you're pretty much going outside to check if the battery's dead. But make sure you take your time. Okay, it is 7.15 and I had one zone set for the back. Let's go check it out real quick. Yeah. It works! The timer works! I didn't have to come out here and turn it on! Yeah! I mean, really though, like, how convenient is that? Like, I don't understand why I didn't do it in the first place. Maybe I was just intimidated by some timers, <laughs> but, whoa. That's, uh, I love it, that's crazy. In the previous video, I didn't know what I wanted to do in the backyard. But then I started manifesting and realized I should start preparing for the spring. So, moved the shed, which created a new little bare spot for me, but I moved the shed all the way to the back. I also took down the cherry tree, which was pretty much just a sick tree. So it wasn't producing anything, took that guy down. Then, I realized, hmm, if I'm gonna prep this for spring, I'm gonna need to water this, I'm gonna need to get the ground healthy again, I'm gonna need to fertilize. So this timer in the back with my new budget irrigation system that I just purchased today at the hardware store, a couple hoses, the timer, um, sprinkler heads, I mean, it's all prepping for the springtime. So it's all set, it's all good to go. I'm very excited to renovate this backyard. For now, I'm just going to do grass. There's gonna be no craziness going on. I just wanna get this grass right first and then we'll figure out the landscaping, all that good business from there. Melnor Hydrologic Automatic Water Timer for Outlet. Hello, good job. All the zones turned on that I set. Everything is watered for the night. It's gonna be watered in the morning. I mean, come on, this thing is fully automated. Why the heck wouldn't you have one? Why I didn't have one, I have no clue. This is crazy. Now the only section I had, I do have left is the side, which is that just that small side, that 25 square feet, that 89 square feet, just that little side I did buy a little setup for that, which I'll do another video on. I just wanted to set all this up tonight, so that will be done tomorrow. It'll be another video for you guys soon, but hey. Melnor Hydrologic Automatic Water Timer for Outlet. One in the front, one in the back. All of them work off the same, same faucet. Water pressure is good. Flawless. Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Good job. All right, my dudes. Well, thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next video. Again, please like, subscribe, comment. We are growing day by day. I really appreciate you guys. Please spread the word. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you, AC.